Brock? No, Barbara Jean. <laughs> You're gonna be a grandma. You're gonna marry a grandpa. <laughs> I know, I can't wait. Oh, I am so glad that we can still be friends. You know, I was afraid that the baby might change the way you feel about me. No, I feel the same way about you as I always have. <laughs> Bowling ball. BJ's church is having their Bowling for Jesus fundraiser. Don't start. Take the box in the garage marked crap that don't belong here no more. <laughs> ah! When you knocked up your hygiene and she lost the right to touch my muffins. <laughs> my girls. You're gonna hang that in here? Yeah, to help me get worked up. <laughs> Not like that. For the game. But something's missing. Certainly not implants. <laughs> oh, I know. <sighs> I'm gonna go tell Shine right now. All right, go get her, son. Yeah. Oh, man, man. Towel. Oh, sorry, coach. Okay. <laughs> Iced tea? Sweetened with molasses and stirred by Jake. That's enough stirring, buddy. I'm not stirring. I dropped my gun. <laughs> Got it all under control. <laughs> all we need is a small little loan to help us get going until our job's kicking. I'm gonna learn to mow. <laughs> <laughs> learn? <laughs> I got my A double S kicked. <laughs> Too bad it wasn't a spelling test. Well, Brock, she's standing right there in front of you. But it's impossible. I didn't even know her back then. I did not have sex with that woman. <laughs> So now we know why the makeovers are free. <laughs> My last car didn't have this much paint on it. Hello again, ladies. <laughs> Who's picking up the check today? Not me, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. You're kidding. Okay, all right, stop crying, I'll be there. <laughs> You're not gonna believe this. Barbara Jean's in jail. What'd she do? Steal somebody else's husband? <laughs> no, it's mall jail. She tried to use Brock's credit card again, the one I reported stolen. Go Ray, Bob. <laughs> Where are my manners? Hi, I'm Barbara Jean. Oh. <laughs> you, Mrs. McKinney, Helen, Mom. I'm not sure what to call you. Funny, I've thought of so many things to call you. Mom. Okay, Mom it is. We might make being married look easy, but you know what? It isn't. It really, really isn't. Well said, Van. Yeah, and it, it may be fun a lot of the time, but there are some times that it is, it is, woo, it is not fun at all. Not fun at all. <laughs> they get it. I don't think they do. The chances of a teen marriage surviving is next to nothing. The chances of any marriage making it is less than 50%. Yeah, look at my mom. <laughs> but right now we're talking about them. But Mrs. Hart, look at Cheyenne and Van. They're so happy. Look, I know their life looks like love and kisses, but there's a lot you don't see. Cheyenne? Uh, yeah. Like, um, well, like space. 
You know, when you're dating, you want to be together all the time, but when you're married, you really miss time to yourself. I feel like he's crowding me all the time. I'm crowding you? And that's the worst part. He doesn't even know it. Well, maybe you feel crowded because you're looking at the same face every day and realizing you never got to shop around and date other people. Oh, so you wish you dated other people? Yeah, yeah, I thought about it. In between crowding you... Well, you're free to go. Thank you. But John D. Hart has to go with you. That's a pretty big bag. Well, there might be some sand in there, ma'am. But we wanted to make sure we got all of them. <laughs> Careful. He's kind of heavy. He ain't heavy. He's my father. Tell me you didn't just say that. College, I liked him. He was everything I was looking for. But there was just never any sparks. But with Brock, wildfires. <laughs> I wonder if this is a sign from him. I tore the fabric of your perfect family and now I'm being punished. No, it's not a sign. It's your 60-foot train. Now get a grip. Do <laughs> more stitches and you'll be on your way down the aisle. Now go. Robert Jean, stop. 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 You're stitched. I'm stitched to you. Stop. Robert Jean. ex-wife. Talk about not being able to let go. What is mom doing? I'm so glad I'm not missing this. say about the camera adding 10 pounds. Mommy! Vanny! <laughs> shoot me! Well, I'm sorry I hurt you. <laughs> this is why you're in here? Because of me. Barbara Jean dropped the crib on my toe. Unbelievable. Just when I think you're becoming a better man, you pull something like this. Oh, where's a plastic baby when you need one? Mom. I started sewing on this quilt the day I found out you were pregnant. Well, maybe a few days later. That first week I was sedated. Each little square is made from your baby clothes. She said baby! She said baby! I win! <laughs> Somebody needs to put her down. You're the best mom ever. Well, where am I? The Miss America contest? <laughs> Look at all these beautiful women. You must be security. I thought we agreed not to hire a clown. I just stopped by to drop off a little present. Oh, where is it? Close your eyes. All right. What's that smell remind you of? I don't know. A new car? Oh, tell me you didn't buy her a new car. No, of course not. It's got 40,000 miles on it. <laughs> oh my God! You bought me a car? Daddy! <laughs> Come on, it's in the driveway. Let's go take a look. A car gave I think my water broke. <laughs> oh no! You're sitting on my purse! Excuse me. I, I know you're kind. You prey on innocent, unsuspecting young girls. Boy, 
How to take you out back and give you what for, pal? Oh. Easy, Brock. William, maybe you didn't know this, but Kira is only 13. I know. Okay, buddy, it's me and you no. outside. I didn't know when I asked her. Van told me, besides, she turned me down. She did? Look, it's not my fault. She was dressed like an older woman. <laughs> All righty, then. Yeah. <laughs> Man, it's not funny. Oh, come on. It's a little funny. The whole school <laughs> was funny. What's not funny? I wore two different shoes to school today because I can't see my feet. <laughs> Okay, that's not funny. Not as funny as watching her get out of a chair. <laughs> We're having a baby! This is Cheyenne having a baby on Cheyenne and Van's graduation day. Morning, sexy. Oh. 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 What in the heck do you think you're doing? Well, right now I'm wondering why we chose this color grout. You can't come in here and just attack me like that. Close the curtain, I can still see the view. What's gotten into you? You used to love it when I kissed you. Yeah, when we were married. We are married. What? Hey, Mom and Dad, we're gonna go to the mall. There's a sale on shoes. I'm going because I'm in love. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, who's gonna be watching Elizabeth? Oh, I'm not sure. Who's Elizabeth? Your baby. <laughs> Mom, the last thing I'd have is a baby. I'm 17. I've got my whole life ahead of me. Honey? Mom, are you all right? No. You say you don't have a baby? You're talking responsible? And you're acting like a loving husband? What's wrong with you people? Wow, oh, what a view. Hey, I can see my car down in the parking lot. Okay, who left their door open? No, wait. Somebody's in there. Somebody's in my car. Hey, hey, somebody's breaking into my car. Stop that guy in the Volvo. Stop me. No, wait. That's not my car. <laughs> You're the one who wants a job. Yeah. Hey, everybody! <laughs> this is the woman who wants a job. Cut it out. I'm going to work. I'm the type of person who works for her money. Not like all these other lazy good-for-nothings who just want to lay around and cash a check. Hey, everybody! <laughs> Don't text today! Y'all too lazy! <laughs> You're twisting my words. What I mean is, I still have options. They don't. Right. Because they're big losers who have failed. Hey, everybody! Can you stop that? That's not what I'm saying. Then what are you saying? We're the type... Those who... The kind of... The kind of scum who take handouts? Hey, everybody! She just called y'all scum! <laughs> Richard Bulwark. B. B. Bulwark. Where do you think we filed this one, Reba? Right after B. B. Bite me? <laughs> well, technically, yes. <laughs> Rock, she's gone. You can smile now. No, I can't. I got a few Botox injections. What? You Botox injections? Isn't that cosmetic and girly? No, it's not girly. It's botulism, which is a deadly poison, which is very manly. Yeah, but is it supposed to make your face look dead and creepy? 
No, it's supposed to take away the wrinkles. So I guess it was the wrinkles that made you look alive. <laughs> so, you like Dylan's dad? I don't like him, like him. I just approve of him in a lacking fashion. And I'm not going to barf, barf. I'm going to vomit in a barfing fashion. <laughs> Barbara Jean, are you ever coming home? Well, sure, just as soon as I get dinner on the table. Oh, perfect. I'm starving. Oh, there's not enough for you. <laughs> you haven't made dinner for me all week. You've been over here slaving for her. Brock, you can't expect her to work all day for me and then come home and work for you, can you? <laughs> come on. I'm sick of takeout. The guy at the Chinese place thinks I'm getting divorced again. All right, relax. We'll grab some chicken at Wimpy's drive through Now, Reba, after the pot roast, there's apple pie. <laughs> and you just leave the dishes. I'll get them tomorrow. I'm starting to see why you left me for her. Sure, you're happy. You're the one with the new wife. That's nice. I'm Reba. That's nice. I'm Reba. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Wait, are you just going to repeat everything I say? Wait, are you just going to repeat everything I say? That's not funny. Yes, it is. Hey, you missed one. Hey, you missed one. I like men. I like men. Twitch! Twitch! I think this is great, as long as you two are being careful. <laughs> you are being careful, right? Cheyenne. Yes, very careful. 100% foolproof careful. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, I just, I thought... Nope. I... Not even a little bit? <laughs> I don't fully understand that question, but no. <laughs> Do you think you're going to? I mean, if the opportunity presented itself, say you had the house to yourself for the entire weekend? I'm gonna need another grapefruit. <laughs> Mom, do you want to? I don't know. Okay. Well, you have to be ready just in case that you decide you do want to. You guys are safe. The first thing you need to do is talk to him about his history. His history? <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> and I'm just supposed to bring that up over dinner? <laughs> How's your Brussels sprouts, Brian? Is your gravy too hot? When's the last time you had a little ring-a-ding? <laughs> a ring-a-ding? Well, I've heard what you kids call it, and I prefer ring-a-ding. <laughs> I don't think I could ask him about his history, Cheyenne. Well, Mom, you have to. You know, if, if you're going to have, say, ding-a-ling, you, you have to. Ring-a-ding. <laughs> Whatever. Gee, look, Mom, a lot has changed since the last time you went through this. Okay, right. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Mom. <laughs> what can I do? Well, you can stand out on the front porch and monitor the weather. <laughs> Barbara Jean. You can do the tinsel. <gasps> One strand at a time. You know what me and my sister would do when we would decorate the tree? What? Tinsel fight. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Reba. Make it hard for me. Bob and weave. Bob and weave. Bob and weave. Bob and weave. Honey, honey. <laughs> Gosh, last time I was videotaped in the bedroom, I didn't know about it. <laughs> Elizabeth, you're a very lucky little girl. And the only way I can express my feelings is through song. It's a little ditty called Wind Beneath My Wings. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha
children and don't make excuses a lot of men have big families Brock even men in their late 30s <laughs> late 30s I really really don't want to talk about this over here well I do do I get a vote Barbara Jean no Brock I'm not leaving then I will <laughs> Not until you give me one good reason why we can't have another baby. Fine. I had a vasectomy. On the other hand, it is my house. <laughs> you what? After you got pregnant, I panicked. I'm sorry. I know I should have told you earlier. Yeah. Yeah, you should have. And before you got snipped. <laughs> because it would have saved you a lot of pain. Well, it didn't really hurt all that much. Oh, it will when you get it reversed. <laughs> well, you know women. The one that doesn't make her look fat, right? <laughs> Upper deck ring, dude. <laughs> see something simple like him <laughs> this piece has marvelous clarity Ooh, that's pretty it's forty five hundred dollars American <laughs> so you. So, how's married life over <laughs> we're divorced yeah. no way way marriage is a lot of give and take and Brock was more than I could take <laughs> So you're putting the band back together for the party tonight, huh? Yeah, listen about the party. Hey, right. Does Terry know we're coming? <laughs> no, he doesn't. Oh, great, great. Watch what I'm going to do when he comes in. No, no, right. no, no. I can't wait to see the look on Terry's face. Listen, Reva. How is the old bag of dirt anyway? Terry's dead. He died last Thursday. Surprise! <laughs> <laughs> this is going to kill him. <laughs> you make my heart. Go pitter pat. In those jeans, you don't look fat. <laughs> and the reason for my love is that I can't imagine life without you. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Which jeans? <laughs> Barbara Jean, he stole her from me. What? <laughs> the only woman that ever meant anything to me. Wait a second. You two have put me through all this stuff just because of Barbara Jean? Hey, Mom, did I tell you we got a new dental chair for my office? Not now, honey. That's right, Brock. We need to concentrate. That's the key to this. Oh, all right. <laughs> yeah, you got me. You got me there. But when I was younger, my older sister... Ah! <laughs> you know, when we played, we used to say, go. You said what, hon? Go! Ah! <laughs> did I miss anything? No, nah, we were just talking about my new dental chair. Okay, Mom, Barbara Jean and I have to go. We gotta get the babysitter. Lucky for you, because I was just about to make my big come. <laughs> I'm sorry, Barbara Jean. I promise I'll make it up to you. <laughs> okay. 
Just, uh, we men folk are talking about how to protect you ladies because you need it. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, Van, why don't you just roll over and shore your belly? What'd you say? Nothing. <laughs> That's what I thought. I think you're a great guy, and, uh, but, uh, this, this, this just isn't gonna work out. Why not? I don't find you attractive. <laughs> I didn't realize that was part of the game. Well, <laughs> I don't find you attractive either. Look, Why are we talking about this? I, I'm not making a judgment about about, about being gay or, or not yeah, well, being gay. gay. What, you think I'm gay? I'm not gay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you talked about your partner. <laughs> My business partner. We own a jewelry store together. He, I, my wife, Judy, a former Miss Houston. So not gay? Not gay. Oh, well then let's get this football lesson started. Yeah, I don't think so. Um. I didn't realize you were using these football lessons to meet men that you're attracted to. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, wait. You think I'm gay? I, I, I'm not gay. I'm married. To your sister. <laughs> no, wait, no, I'm, I'm really, I'm not gay. Well, I don't know why I would have thought so. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> That's just the way I'm built. See you later, Mary. <laughs> Excuse me, 412? <laughs> and that doesn't make me crazy. That makes me the secretary of the whole bunch of Beanie Babies Club. <laughs> Well, is this your password? <laughs> Reba, I am well aware of all the silly little things I do. If I wasn't, I'd be insane. <laughs> That's your argument? I know I'm insane, so I'm not insane? Oh, well, at least I don't go around expecting to get my children's children in an event that they... <laughs> And if you want to see insane, why don't you run on down to the state fair and get your portrait drawn and take a gander, peach oh. <laughs> Spread the word out there. Reba's house is off limits to all pests. <laughs> you don't own her, Reba. She's our daughter. Don't you yell at me. Well, you're yelling at me. I'm a nice person. I'm allowed. <laughs> Why are you trying to keep mom from drinking? Uh, because before the party, your mother snooped through your purse, found your bottle of booze away pills, thought they were vitamins, and took one. Now, if she takes a drink, she's gonna blow like Mount Rushmore. <laughs> you have to tell her. Now? In the middle of her big party? I can't pound this whole bottle of vodka. I barely got down the scotch. <laughs> Look, Ben, if I tell her, I'm just gonna get some big old lecture. We'll just we'll keep her from drinking, okay? Keep your mom from drinking? Have you even seen her at parties? It's like she's sponsored by Smirnoff. She's got wine. As I was saying, Van is my son-in-law. And I thought, well, I'll just bring him in to work with me. And, and he's been doing a really good job. Ah, uh, shoo! Van! Oh, my gosh. Is that my gum? Here, let me get it out. Ugh. Wine's a little corky. You should probably switch to juice. I'll just have a beer. Uh, I think we're out. No, there's one right over there. Excellent beer spotted, Mrs. H. Good eye. Good eye.
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like I said, we're out. Well, if anybody wants a beer, we can just squeeze Van. <laughs> I gotta have a little brother? Jake, I'm not in love. I'm not even seeing anybody. I'm just pretending to go out on these dates so I can have a little alone time for me. You know, take a break from the loony bin. I hear you. Dad and I didn't really join the Scouts. <laughs> Then what do you guys do every Saturday? Hey, are we keeping secrets here or not? But David Dingbat has something that you don't have. Oh yeah, what's that? Stones. <laughs> Stones? Stones. Cojones. Brass ones. He doesn't just talk about doing things. He does them. I'm gonna do that too. No, oh, Mrs. H, no you're not. With all due respect, you say this every time. You see somebody else taking a risk that works out for them, and then you're like, hey, I want to do that too. But at the end of the day, you just can't pull the trigger. Well, pardon my French, but that's buffalo droppings. <laughs> you think I don't have stones? Watch this. Those aren't stones. These are stones. <laughs> Coffee ground with a hint of eggshell. You're going, Brock. I'm your wife now, not Reba. If you don't want to be forced to go to church, you should have stayed with her. Man, I knew that'd come back to haunt me. I'll go get the car. Gross. I know. It's like you cooked it. Man, I need an aspirin. I don't know what it is, but I've got a horrible headache. Get back! Get down! Look, there's a cat! Barbara Jean, how come I've got a whole house full of people and all you've got is just a yard full of dogs? Well... I invited Ruby and her family to stay with me, but they all said no, all at once. But I trust Cheyenne. Oh, well, look what that trust got you, Grandma. <laughs> Don't you think I would know if someone was cheating in my house? <laughs> Okay, you guys, I've got to show you some of the work that I've been doing. You are going to be so proud. <laughs> I'm sure we will, honey. Look, we need to keep an open mind. There's a very good possibility that Shine can be doing something very meaningful with her life here. Florence, Ida, ladies, come on out. What are we looking at? Ah! Oh. Oh. Reba, yeah. Okay. 
First off, do you always wear that to bed, Mrs. Hart? <laughs> oh, that old thing? I just threw it on. <laughs> but thank you, doctor. <clears throat> Dear Lord, please bless Henry and Brock and Reba and Dr. Beck. <laughs> and all the poor people in the whole world and all the people in jail. Yeah, this goes on for quite a while. Now, you see how I keep my head down there, Doc? You play golf? No, give me my remote. Okay, let's get to the sleep. Okay, so here we've achieved rapid eye movement, or as we call it, the REM state. Breathing is regular. Brock is drooling, all is well. Until... Hello. Huh. That's funny. Yeah, I bet that's how I got this bruise. But wait, there's more. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> the girls in the office love this next part. <laughs> you know what would be funny during this? Cartoon music. Honey, the doctor said your dad has a kidney stone. Now, it's not dangerous, and it will go away by itself. But in the meantime, it's incredibly painful. Did you just giggle? No, I didn't. Why would he eat kidney stones? Oh, honey, he didn't eat them. It's just that he got them by eating way too much spinach. I knew it! Vegetables are evil. Jay... Spinach is still good for you, you just don't want to eat too much of it. Because the minerals build up and it turns into glass that you pass through your... Brock! Wiener! Oh. Oh. Wow, Dad. Spinach does that? Yeah, there's an episode of Popeye you'll never see. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll, uh, I'll head home. But there's nobody there. I'm no doctor, but I think you need someone around when you shoot glass through your wiener. I'll be fine, buddy. Oh, whoa! I'm going with him. No, you're not. But he needs help. I know. That's why he's staying here. Brock, you're sick. And you're going to stay right here until you get to feeling better. I don't care how long it takes. Come on. Wait. Are you just saying this because you're looking forward to seeing me in pain? <laughs> no, although it is a perk. Oh, you probably know what I'm talking about. Cayman. What? Cayman. <laughs> okay, man, lay it on me. <laughs> I'd like to talk to you about 1998. I was drunk that whole year. <laughs> Try to think back. Did you work for Dr. Hart full time? Yes. According to this, you worked for your husband full time and yet he only paid you minimum wage. Was there any compensation paid under the table? Oh no, no, he's just cheap. Mm-hmm, he looks cheap. <laughs> oh God, okay, whoa, whoa, wait, wait just a minute. Brock is taking care of the whole debt with the IRS, and I'm not going to have you as a neighbor? Yeah. Isn't it awful? <laughs> it's awfully something. You know, when you're not so busy thinking how ironic it would be if mosquitoes like those big blue bug lights that kill them. <laughs> huh? You know, those big blue bug lights that we put outside in the summer? What if bugs liked them? You know, hey guys, party's over here, and then zap! 
<laughs> I, uh, you, uh, you, you lost me. Uh, oh, you know, like the lobsters. We keep big blue bug lights out in the summertime to keep the lobsters away? <laughs> no, the thing before with the happy dead termites that camp, you know. Look, Mrs. H, I don't mind if you have a few beers at lunch, but uh, I wouldn't talk to anybody else this afternoon if I were you. Just gonna put the bowling stuff in the closet. I'll give you a hand. So, people think you're good looking. Are you hitting on me? Not, not me, man. I said people. People. I said people. <laughs> Hey, Barbara Jean. Here you go, Reba. A little gift. Oh, looky there. <laughs> A dartboard. Oh, you'll get your chance. Yeah, you'll get your chance. You wanna know how smart she is, Doc? Take a look at her underwear. <laughs> I came out wrong. This is the best day, hey, she has gone away, hey, all I did was pray, hey, nothing left to say, hey, who the do 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 Hey, Reba, hey, you're feeling better? Because you sure look okay. <laughs> Mom, can you try and not act so thrilled? I mean, this is really hard on Barbara Jean. I know, but it's so easy on me. <laughs> she cannot come in, hey, all I do is grin, hey, she cannot come in, hey. All I do is finally win. Hey! Thank you so much. Oh, we love you too. <laughs> hey, listen, uh, why don't you shoot some establishing shots at the outside of the hospital? What? But I'm not hurting anyone. I just want to get some footage of Reba so that when she's all better, we can just look back and laugh, you know? <laughs> yeah, right, I know, I know. But remember how the doctor said that she should relax, so maybe it'd be a little better if you gave her some peace and quiet. Okay. Well, you know, I guess you know best. So, you know, why don't you just come over here for a minute and, and just take me for a second, then I'll go, okay? Okay. Okay. All right, you listen to me, pretty boy. <laughs> If something happens to my best friend, this videotape may be the only thing I have to comfort me for the rest of my life. Now give me back my camera and back off. <laughs> Before I rip out your beating heart and I give it to Reba. <laughs> okay. Hey, honey. What you looking at? Do these freshly painted walls make our furniture look shabby? I know where this is going, and I'm out of money. <laughs> but we really need new furniture. Please, Brock. Barbara Jean, you already bought some furniture, didn't you? No. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, hey, honey, how'd you sleep? Was everything okay? I'm sorry I didn't have time to move my stuffed animal collection out. Oh, that's all right. I threw them out on the front lawn. <laughs> oh, you? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> hey! New rule. No saying dumb at the table. New rule. No being dumb at the table. <laughs> okay. Okay. Wow! Hey, buddy. Now that boy there? <laughs> he is lucky to be indoors. If you didn't spy on me, how did you always know when I liked a boy? Oh, it was obvious. You'd be on the phone all day with all your friends, tell them about it, and then you'd write, I love Jimmy, on your notebooks. Jimmy? <laughs> Who's Jimmy? You are, honey.
And then your pockets would be full of those empty lip gloss containers, and you'd wear that pink sweater real low cut with the black lace on it. Hey, you know, going through someone's pocket is called spying, Mom. <laughs> oh, honey, it's called doing the laundry. <laughs> well, maybe I'll do your laundry and see how much you like it. <laughs> Yeah, do my ironing, too. That'll show me. You know what I think, Mrs. H? That you're not really Jimmy? <laughs> no. <laughs> or pot. Do any of the kids at your, at your school, do they smoke pot? <laughs> Nope, not a one. In fact, we were written up in USA Today. <laughs> I'm serious. Do any of your friends? Why would you even think that? Well, I don't. It seemed like you had wonderful friends. Except maybe for that red-haired kid who was sitting on the bleachers. Yeah, he looked like a stoner. Gary? Yeah, yeah, that's the one. His eyes, they looked a little whacked out to me. He's blind. <laughs> Look, if the question is whether I'll buy you pot, the answer is no. Okay, you know, what if someone were to offer you some? What about peer pressure? Come on, Kira, pot is fun. <laughs> All the cool kids are doing it. Hey, you want to take a little ride on my magic carpet? Ooh. What is going on? She's working on her sales pitch. We need the money. Oh, that Dr. Todd guy called and said he can't make it. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> now, can we please stop talking about this before Barbara Jean hears? Fine by me. Making Barbara Jean nuts is only fun when you don't live with her. <laughs> I don't live with her. <laughs> no, no, Reba, you can't tell her. Oh, why not? Because she might get scared and keep you up at night. It might help her learn to process fear. I am not kidding, Reba. She really believes everything. I mean, ghosts, witches. She even thinks the bad boy down at the grocery store gave her the evil eye. <laughs> I like that kid. <laughs> Set through your Christmas pageant. You're going. <laughs> Barbara Jean, you'll never believe what I just heard about the people who used to live in your house. Oh, really? What? Hey, come on. We better get going if we want to beat the traffic. Come on. Okay. Let's go. Wow, I've heard of people dying to sell their house, but wow. <laughs> okay, everybody in the car, away from Reba. Oh, Brock. I'm just teasing. I'm not going to tell Barbara Jean that someone died in your house. <laughs> Unless it slips. <laughs> I'll be by later and we can chat some more. Okie dokie, Smokey. <laughs> Please tell me she didn't hear that. She said okie dokie because she likes me. at a church summer camp when I was in high school. <laughs> Taught blind kids to cook. <laughs> blind kids! <laughs> I just picked her right up. <laughs> Is something burning? Is something burning? <laughs> it's the bread. Do you remember the bread? Do you remember I told you to take it out of the oven 10 minutes ago? <laughs> Poor bread. <laughs> Poor innocent bread. You never had a chance. I like crispy bread. You know, I, 
got my niece to cook lasagna when she was six years old. <laughs> That's a true story. <laughs> Oh, that's so sad. <laughs> I gotta go home. Barbara Jean, are you sure you're okay? Oh, I say only my back cow. Okay, I'm just gonna help you. I'm just gonna help you. <gasps> Reba! Oh, Reba. I swear I tried. I swear on everything that's precious and holy, I tried. <laughs> You're preaching to the choir. I've been there. Oh. I love you, Reba. <laughs> How about that? <gasps> Let's start a band. <laughs> Definitely something to think about. Absolutely. Be careful on your walk home. Come on, Barbara Jean. She did that once when it was full. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she did. Is there any reason someone could get another tryout? I don't know, maybe. I guess if they were sick or something. Then he's sick. Ooh, broken leg. <laughs> Harvard Jean, the coach saw him. If he'd broken his leg, he'd be wearing a cast. Right, no cast. Oh, I got it. Nope. Then he'd be in a wheelchair. <laughs> I'll think of something on my way over there. Hey, but why are you going? Shouldn't Van go? Van go. Van go! Tell the coach he cut his ear off. He's doing the stretch and reach. He's going to put his arm around her. It's just an arm. Just an arm? Do you even know how babies are born? <laughs> Would you please just stay out of this? Head on shoulder? We have a head on shoulder situation. Oh, that was fast. See what happens when you ignore the arm? Nothing happens. Scott seems like a nice enough kid. I mean, he didn't have any problem with us tagging along. Besides, they both know we're here, and I don't think they're going to be like, Oh, Lord, did he just swallow her face? Listen, my daughter's getting kissed right in front of me. Does anyone else smell burnt toast? I think I'm having a stroke. I don't care whose daughter she is. Date over. Barbara Jean, would you stop parenting my child? If anyone says no kissing, it's going to be me. I say... No kissing! <laughs> You're not Kira. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> uh, drop this by because um, Van left it in her car. Coffee? <laughs> her car? As in she? As in a woman? Wait. I never thought about it that way, but, yeah. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. This woman, was she young and pretty, or was she old and ugly? Hey, some older women can be pretty too, you know. <laughs> Just answer me, Mom. Well, she was pretty young. I mean, uh, not pretty young. I mean, she was young and pretty. <laughs> well, what, what did she say? How does he know her? Well, she works for the team, but it's strictly professional. Oh, my gosh. Does she sleep in the same hotel as him? Nothing good happens in hotels, Mom. Oh, Cheyenne. I, I think we're missing the point here. What? The good news what? is Van got his jacket back. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that is good news. Kind of gives it that rugged outdoorsy look, don't you think? Is that team, the Arena Football League's new power couple, Van and Shine Montgomery. <laughs> 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 
Yo, Sinatra, Sammy and Dino are waiting out in the limo. Oh, Al, check it out. You guys look great. Yeah. Oh, I am so excited about this photo shoot. We're going to be in the team's program. People save those things. We're going to be immortal. Oh, I got to see this. What time are they coming? Oh, we're going to do it over at the arena, not here. Yeah. I don't want it to look like I live with my mother-in-law. Yeah. <laughs> you do live with your mother-in-law. Yeah. But I don't want it to look like it. <laughs> I mean, I mean, we are we're totally grateful for the sacrifices you've made, Mrs. H. Thanks. Oh, hey, check this out. What do you think for our pose for the picture? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you look so French. Yes! Wait, wait, baby. Croissant. Oh, yeah. Croissant. Bye, you guys. Let's go, man. <laughs> I guess there's no way to, uh, comb that over, is there? Hey, guys. Hey, Kira. Man, I hope I can move out one day so I can constantly be here. Don't mess with Kira. She punched a girl at school. Oh, I knew it was only a matter of time before Miss Congeniality snapped. Spell congeniality. Spell no. Okay, spell knock it off. All right, girls, we don't have time for this Cheyenne Kira love fest. Kira, what's going on with you? Nothing. We're losing her, Reba. Losing her to the mean streets of Houston. <laughs> why would you punch some girl? It's how she shows affection. That's right. So why don't you come over here for a little hug? Girls, oh. girls, <laughs> girls, stop it. Kira, start talking. She started messing with me, so I took a swing at her. I didn't even think I'd connect. It's no big deal. Oh, I think a little girl going home from school with a steak pressed to her face is a big deal. Mm. What on God's green earth made you snap? Have you considered the fact that she's a total psycho? <laughs> shut up. You shut up. Girls, this is your last warning. I gotta get out of here. Kira, what did that girl do to make you lose it? She called Cheyenne a slut, okay? She called Cheyenne a slut, so I punched her. Oh my gosh, my psycho sister loves me. Okay, everybody just calm down. Are you sure she's not at your house? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Calm down, calm down, calm down. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no, Reba, she's not at our house. Maybe she got up early and went to a friend's. Reba, I've been up since five. She had to have left in the middle of the night. What about her boyfriend, huh? That Scott kid! I will kill that kid! All right, what's his home number? Um, what if they ran away to Vegas? <laughs> Who knows Scott's home oh, phone number? 555-0165. That's it, call it. 555-0165. Kira! Kira! Oh my gosh, come here, honey. Oh, oh you are in big trouble. Oh, my sweet baby. <laughs> it's busy, I'm gonna keep calling. Really, that is just fascinating. <laughs> well, it's really not all that fascinating. <laughs> well, it is the way you tell it. <laughs> Here, let me get you a coaster. There you go. You do realize that these are my legs, and those are your legs. <laughs> yeah, but my legs don't turn me on. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Woo! Jake's right. I am cool. Did you see that guy's face? He didn't want to race me. It was a school bus, Mom. <laughs> I had a kid with me, too. Didn't make me a chicken. <laughs> oh, wait a second. Was 
closer to the garage. Be careful, Mom. Stop telling me to be careful. Ooh. Please tell me I hit you. <laughs> How bad is it? Oh, I don't think it even made it. Oh, good Lord, there it is. Oh, no. What, what are we going to do? We? We weren't driving. You were driving. Oh, no. You were my accomplice. Yeah, when we were on the road. But when we're standing on the driveway, I'm just an eyewitness. She did it, officer. <laughs> you distracted me. If you hadn't taken the trash out, those trash cans wouldn't have been there. You told me to. And you did it? What's up with that? <laughs> Well, there are a lot of things that I've been burying deep for a long time that I needed to confront. You're gay. <laughs> I knew you were too good looking. He's not gay. He's not even that good looking. He's clinically depressed. No, he's not. Actually, I am. And the last 10 minutes haven't helped it. No. No, I'm sorry. If my husband was depressed, I think I'd know about it. Well, he is, and he's taking antidepressants. Oh, you'd love that, wouldn't you, Reba? What are you talking about? He's depressed. He's been that way for a while now. So when he ran off with me, it's because he had a mental disease. <laughs> that's not a mental disease. That's just bad taste. Oh, right. I think this is getting a little out of hand. Oh, how would you know, you pill popper? <laughs> Hey. I'm a-coming. Reba, open up. It's me. I've already left for work. <laughs> I fell for that one yesterday. Why are you trying to keep Mom from drinking? Uh, because before the party, your mother snooped through your purse, found your bottle of booze away pills, thought they were vitamins, and took one. Now, if she takes a drink, she's going to blow like Mount Rushmore. <laughs> you have to tell her. Now? In the middle of her big party? I can't pound this whole bottle of vodka. I barely got down the scotch. <laughs> Look, Ben, if I tell her, I'm just going to get some big old lecture. We'll just we'll keep her from drinking, okay? Keep your mom from drinking? Have you even seen her at parties? It's like she's sponsored by Smirnoff. <laughs> quick, she's got wine. Go, 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 go. As I was saying, Ben is my son-in-law. And I thought, well, I'll just bring him in to work with me. And, and he's been doing a really good job. Ah, uh, shoo! Man. Oh my gosh, is that my gum? Here, let me get it out. Uh, wine's a little corky. You should probably switch to juice. I'll just have a beer. Uh, I think we're out. No, there's one right over there. Excellent beer spottage, Mrs. H. Good eye. Good eye. <laughs> Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Like I said, we're out. Well, if anybody wants a beer, we can just squeeze Van. <laughs> Am I going to have a little brother? Jake, I'm not in love. I'm not even seeing anybody. I'm just pretending to go out on these dates so I can have a little alone time for me. You know, take a break from the loony bin. <laughs> I hear you. Dad and I didn't really join the Scouts. <laughs> really? Then what do you guys do every Saturday? Hey, are we keeping secrets here or not? But David Dingbat has something that you don't have. Oh yeah, what's that? Stones. Stones? Stones. Cojones. Brass ones. He doesn't just talk about doing things. He does them. I'm gonna do that too. No, Mrs. H, no, you're not. With all due respect, you say this every time. You see somebody else taking a risk that works out for them, and then you're like, hey, I want to do that too. But at the end of the day, you just can't pull the trigger. Well, pardon my French, but that's buffalo droppings. <laughs> you think I don't have stones? Watch this. Those aren't stones. These are stones. <laughs> mm. Coffee ground with a hint of eggshell. 
You're going, Brock. I'm your wife now, not Reba. If you don't want to be forced to go to church, you should have stayed with her. Man, I knew that'd come back to haunt me. <laughs> I'll go get the car. Oh. Dog food is so gross. I know. It's like you cooked it. Man, I need an aspirin. I don't know what it is, but I've got a horrible headache. Get back! Get down! Look, there's a cat! Jean, how come I've got a whole house full of people and all you've got is just a yard full of dogs? Well, I invited Ruby and her family to stay with me, but they all said no. All at once. But I trust Cheyenne. Oh, well, look what that trust got you, Grandma. <laughs> Don't you think I would know if someone was cheating in my house? <laughs> someone took my cupcake. Okay, you guys, I've got to show you some of the work that I've been doing. You are going to be so proud. <laughs> I'm sure we will, honey. Look, we need to keep an open mind. There's a very good possibility that Shine can be doing something very meaningful with her life here. Florence, Ida, ladies, come on out. I'll be looking at you. Ah! Oh! <laughs> Reba, yeah. <laughs> okay, first off, do you always wear that to bed, Mrs. Hart? I just threw it on. <laughs> but thank you, doctor. <clears throat> Dear Lord, please bless Henry and Brock and Reba and Dr. Beck. <laughs> and all the poor people in the whole world and all the people in jail. Yeah, this goes on for quite a while. <laughs> Now, you see how I keep my head down there, Doc? You play golf? No, give me my remote. Okay, let's get to the sleep. Okay, so here we've achieved rapid eye movement, or as we call it, the REM state. Breathing is regular. Brock is drooling. All is well. Until... Hello! Huh. That's funny. Yeah, I bet that's how I got this bruise. But wait, there's more. <laughs> oh, honey, I'm so sorry. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> the girls in the office love this next part. You know what would be funny during this? 
cartoon music. Oh, honey. Oh, don't touch oh, me. I'm sorry. What's wrong? Honey, the doctor said your dad has a kidney stone. Now, it's not dangerous, and it will go away by itself. But in the meantime, it's incredibly painful. Did you just giggle? No, I didn't. Why would he eat kidney stones? Oh, honey, he didn't eat them. It's just that he got them by eating way too much spinach. I knew it! Vegetables are evil. Jake, spinach is still good for you. You just don't want to eat too much of it. Because the minerals build up, and it turns into glass that you pass through your... Rock! Wiener! Oh. Oh. Wow, Dad. Spinach does that? Yeah, there's an episode of Popeye you'll never see. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll, uh, I'll head home. But there's nobody there. I'm no doctor. But I think you need someone around when you shoot glass through your wiener. I'll be fine, buddy. Oh, whoa! I'm going with him. No, you're not. But he needs help. I know. That's why he's staying here. Brock, you're sick. And you're going to stay right here until you get to feeling better. I don't care how long it takes. Come on. Wait. Are you just saying this because you're looking forward to seeing me in pain? <laughs> no. Although it is a perk. Oh, you probably know what I'm talking about. Cayman. What? Cayman. <laughs> okay, man, lay it on me. <laughs> I'd like to talk to you about 1998. I was drunk that whole year. <laughs> Try to think back. Did you work for Dr. Hart full time? Yes. According to this, you worked for your husband full-time, and yet he only paid you minimum wage. Was there any compensation paid under the table? Oh, no. No, he's just cheap. Mm-hmm. He looks cheap. <laughs> okay, okay. Whoa, whoa, wait, wait just a minute. Brock is taking care of the whole debt with the IRS, and I'm not going to have you as a neighbor? Yeah. Isn't it awful? It's awfully something. You know, when you're not so busy thinking how ironic it would be if mosquitoes like those big blue bug lights that kill them. Huh? You know, those big blue bug lights that we put outside in the summer. What if bugs liked them? You know, hey guys, party's over here and then zap. <laughs> I, uh, you, I, you, you lost me. I... Oh, you know, like the lobsters. We keep big... Blue bug lights out in the summertime to keep the lobsters away? <laughs> no, the thing before with the happy dead termites that camp, you know. <laughs> Look, Mrs. H, I don't mind if you have a few beers at lunch, but uh, I wouldn't talk to anybody else this afternoon if I were you. <laughs> Just gonna put the bowling stuff in the closet. I'll give you a hand. So, people think you're good looking. Are you hitting on me? <laughs> not, not me, man. I said people. People. I said people. Hey, Barbara Jean. Here you go, Reba. A little gift. Oh, looky there. <laughs> A dartboard. Oh, you'll get your chance. Yeah, you'll get your chance. You wanna know how smart she is, Doc? Take a look at her underwear. I came out wrong. This is the best day. Hey, she has gone away. Hey, all I did was pray. Hey, nothing left to say. Hey, hoopa doopa doo doo. Hey, Reba, hey, you're feeling better? Because you sure look okay. <laughs> How's it going? 
Mom, can you try and not act so thrilled? I mean, this is really hard on Barbara Jean. I know, but it's so easy on me. <laughs> she cannot come in. Hey, all I do is grin. Hey, she cannot come in. Hey, all I do is finally win. Thank you so much. Oh, we love you too. <laughs> hey, listen, uh, why don't you shoot some establishing shots at the outside of the hospital? What? But I'm not hurting anyone. I just want to get some footage of Reba so that when she's all better, we can just look back and laugh, you know? <laughs> yeah, right, I know, I know. But remember how the doctor said that she should relax, so maybe it'd be a little better if you gave her some peace and quiet. Okay. Well, you know, I guess you know best. So, you know, why don't you just come over here for a minute and, and just take me for a second, then I'll go, okay? Okay. Okay. All right, you listen to me, pretty boy. <laughs> If something happens to my best friend, this videotape may be the only thing I have to comfort me for the rest of my life. Now give me back my camera and back off. <laughs> Before I rip out your beating heart and I give it to Reba. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Man, there's a lot of beautiful people around here. You should see him naked in the shower. <laughs> Jordan! Hey. Ready to start, Barbara Jean? Yeah, yeah. Hey, you look great in that outfit. Oh, well, you know, the other one was getting kind of baggy. <laughs> Can you believe her? She did the impossible. She lost all that weight and kept these fellas. Ah! <laughs> My friend Reba. Hey, I'm Jordan. <laughs> I'm Reba. <laughs> so, you gonna join us, Reba? Oh, I, I don't know. I just think that uh, me and my uh, fellows will just watch for a while. <laughs> well, Reba, you are not gonna get into shape by just watching. You need to sweat a little. Yeah, but you guys gotta understand. It's been a while since I've been in a gym like this, and I don't think. Hello. <laughs> Barbara Jean, you really are getting limber. Remember when you couldn't put your leg over my head? Remember when I didn't want to? <laughs> is, is, is that, is that uh, legal? I mean, necessary? It's critical to stretch your muscles out before you exercise them. Yeah. Otherwise, you could really hurt something. Mm -hmm. Turn over. Yeah. <laughs> Reba, you need to watch this one. This one is my favorite. <laughs> Now, this gives a good stretch to the back and yeah. chest muscles. Really should do this once a day. Oh, I'd do it all day if I could. <laughs> you know, is this one of these uh, gems that has the heat on real high? Cause I'm sweating. Okay. Oh, oh wow. Time for some weightlifting. Right. Oh, good. <laughs> That's enough of that stretching. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> okay. Knock this out. Okay. Yeah, okay, all right. You know, I, I think I've seen enough. So what do you think? You have any interest in getting a personal trainer? <laughs> Only if he takes me out to dinner first. <laughs> Are you sure, Reba? <laughs> Seriously, this is one of the best relationships I've ever had. <laughs> Why, what's the matter? What's up with Dad? No way. Brock got a motorcycle? Uh, That's the funniest thing ever. Oh, no. Not even close. Just wait. <gasps> Guess what I just rode up on? A gay pride float. <laughs> Please don't be upset. Oh. Oh. Yo, know, it's, it's, it's not about you. Yeah, you know, it's, um... You know, I was, uh, you know, I was just thinking about my aunt, you know. I should, I should really go see her. You know, I haven't seen her since she won the Baton Rouge spit-off. 
Look, I know this isn't easy for you, but I'm gonna be going to college in less than a year, and I just wanted to spend that time with my mom. You understand, right? Oh, sure. Of course I do. So you're not upset oh, or angry? No. no, honey, no. In fact, I'm actually, I'm actually kind of proud of you. I think you made the right decision. Thanks, Barbara Jean. Of course. about drinking when I was her age almost made me want to do it more. Oh, I'll say. Oh, you couldn't wait to get out of here on weekends. You were dangerous, out of control, promiscuous. <laughs> you were like a frat boy. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know why I just said that. <laughs> Mom, your big rules might be part of the reason that I developed a drinking problem. Oh, I knew if I waited long enough, this would become my fault. Does that sound gay? <laughs> I'm not gay. I just, you know, I meant sorority chick. Shut up, <laughs> you know, there's something I've been meaning to tell you for a long time, but I thought I'd, I couldn't tell you because I'd cry. But it's just that... <laughs> you will remember these words for the rest of your life. Well, all I can say is, right back at ya. <laughs> you know what I just thought of? Zip it, rainy sore bottom. <laughs> I wasn't gonna say anything. I was just thinking that wouldn't it be hysterical if Cheyenne had a baby exactly like Kira? <laughs> what? Why would you say something like that, Barbara Jean? Because that's what she does. She just talks and talks and talks until somebody's head explodes. <laughs> well, it just seems like Elizabeth takes after her, so what if the next one takes after Kira? <sighs> okay, you know what? I changed my mind. I want the action figure and a hammer. <laughs> I could. I, I could have a baby just like Kira. Hey, Mom, do you remember what she was like growing up? She was a horrible little... B word. <laughs> she was a B to me every single day. She was a, a B to my friends. Honey. She was a B to everyone. And I could have another one right in here. Okay, stop it. <laughs> stop it. I want you to understand. I'm not saying this to hurt you. <laughs> I'm saying this so you'll relax. Okay. And don't take it personally. <laughs> Cheyenne? Yeah. Kira <laughs> was not the monster. You were. <laughs> you were the bee. Hey, man. Yeah, what's up? Can I get your autograph for some kids at school? Oh, sure, buddy. They remember the old Vanster, huh? Fast as lightning, agile as a kitty cat. This isn't really about football. It's about your thing on YouTube. My thing on who what? Kira posted a video of you getting in the zone. Everyone at school's talking about it. Get the zone. <laughs> Hi, my name's Van Montgomery. Big money, big money. Gotta get in the zone. Fuck. I'm gonna sell you a house. You just got served! Get in the zone, here we go. Nah, that's not it. Come on, man! One by half, one by half. Yes, these are my natural eyebrows. Get it, get it, get it. Get it. 
Yeah, yeah. You're gonna make some money off that onion right there, buddy. The house is here, baby. Here we go. You wanna smack it? Go ahead. You wanna smack it? Go ahead. Who's that? Kira, Kira, Kira? Get out of here! It's as weird as Van. What? Honey, Van is a weird name. Well, it's certainly no Cheyenne. <laughs> hey, I got an idea. Why don't we name our kid Navajo? Do not make fun of my name. You started, Sacagawea. <laughs> Go on. Tell him, Pocahontas. What is it? She shot me! What do you mean you couldn't stand me? I didn't say that, she did! Well, is it true? Yes, you were so smart, I was intimidated! I was not smart! Be as quiet as a mouse, you won't even know I'm here. Hey, drums! <laughs> Look, Kira, I know this has been tough, and you and I haven't seen exactly eye to eye. But you have to know there's one thing that I want for you more than anything else in the world, and that's... <laughs> I want you to be happy. Every parent wants their kid to be happy. Playing music is what's going to make me happy, but you don't want me to do that. Okay, Kira. I'm going to give you the deep, dark secret of parenting. We always say that we want our kids to be happy, but do you know what we really want? Obedient robot children. <laughs> we want our kids to be safe. And I know that makes me a square or a drag or whatever word you kids are coming up with nowadays. Lame. They say lame. <laughs> I get it all the time. <laughs> hey, you know what? Barbara Jean's on right now. So, um, how does the rest of the weekend weather look like? We're looking at clear blue skies, possibly through the weekend. That's what I wanted to hear. Taking the wife up to the cabin, keep those romantic fires burning. Oh, that's lovely. It's always nice to hear of a couple that's making it work. <laughs> well, we are. <laughs> of course. We know, Tim. And, um, But next... you know, you never... You never know when there could be a storm coming. You gotta be careful. <laughs> well, that's okay, too. We can always cuddle by the fire or lay down and listen to the rain outside. Yeah, but, you know, sometimes the storm's on the inside, you know, and it's just kind of, you know, and they're screaming at you, you know, look out, you know? Well, Your life's falling apart. Right. Uh, well, I'll be sure to bring a sweater. <laughs> Baby. Maybe you should just ask your wife if, if she wants to go to your cabin, you know? I mean, maybe there's something else she'd rather do, but you don't even ask her because you don't think that her life is as important as yours. Did my wife talk to you? Shut up, Tim! I'm not talking about your stupid wife! I'm talking about my stupid husband. He wants a divorce, and I don't know if I do. It's so hot in here. Just calm down. It's not that big of a deal. See, your mom agrees with me. Oh, zip it, Sparky. All right, everybody. <laughs> everybody just take it easy. Now, look, there's a very stressful situation. You don't want to say something now that you might regret later. You know what? I should have never married you or bought a house with you. Like that. You know what, Mom? I think we're going to need to stay at your house for a couple of days. Is that okay? Yeah, that's okay. Hope you got fire insurance. <laughs> I'm going to go grab a few things. Well, uh, make sure to grab my lighter. Oh, hey! I'm just trying to... I'm just trying to make a little joke, because it's just this... I've been breathing smoke all day. I'm not... I'm very emotional.
close one. Oh! <laughs> You like this? Ha! 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 If I came at you at this, <laughs> all right, come on. Oh, oh God. get up, Barbara Jean. Get up. No, stay down, Barbara Jean. Stay down. Barbara Jean Booker does not. Stay down. <laughs> you want to dance, cowgirl? <laughs> uh, let's dance. <laughs> yeah. Well, hey, Reba, can you smell what Barbara Jean is cooking? <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> well, look at all the pretty colors. <laughs> Check it out. We got another one coming, blonde Zilla. <laughs> What did you call me? You heard me. Blondzilla. <laughs> oh. Okay. That's enough sparring. Oh, really? That's enough? Oh, then if it's over, how can you keep hitting yourself, Reba? Huh? How can you keep hitting? Ow! 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 Oh, Ow! 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 Except the one between you and me. Oh. Well, I couldn't say no. Now you turn that big old golf tanned head towards me and open up your ear. My birthday. You stay up.
Did you just spank me? <laughs> what? Ow. Wait, no, you're the hottest woman in North America! <laughs> this weekend, there's a high-pressure system over Texas. <laughs> Which means it is going to be smoking hot. <laughs> so, let's have a cheer for warm weather. Give me an H. H. Give me an O. Mm. Give me a T. My special super barometer tells me that this weekend it is gonna rain. <laughs> We're grown up, Cheyenne. We're homeowners. I think we can take care of ourselves. Yeah, yeah. Because she's a little overprotective. I mean, we know what we're doing. Yeah. Man. That Peter you got is really kicking out the heat. Yeah, well, I turn it on high, they get... Ah! 